Hi everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to y'all with another video. Oh, for the last like week, little over about almost a week and a half, I wasn't feeling good, you know. I, I was stuck with COVID. Now I'm feeling much better. You know, my symptoms was mild. Glad that it wasn't nothing major. So, but yeah, unfortunately I got I had got COVID. But I'm over it now. So now I'm ready to come back and make another video. So in case y'all was wondering, that's what happened. I'm fixed to read August 28th, you know, the Bible verse, and I'm going to read a prayer for my prayer book, Walk in Faith. So here it is, the Bible verse. My days are like a shadow that decline, and I am withered like grass. But thou, O Lord, shall endure forever and thy remembrance unto all generations. That's from the book of Psalm, chapter 101, Bible verses 11 and 12. Now here's the prayer. The light of love, I yearn for needs only my request. I close my eyes for calm and quiet rest. A stillness soon takes over, loosening the bind. Serenity and God's peace have cleared my troubled mind. And that's from August 28th, that's from tomorrow. So I'm gonna get into what, we, what I really came on here to talk about, which was Melanie, it, this is an article I found from Bell Ma from Bell Magazine or Urban Urban Bell Magazine. The title of this article is called Melanie Hope. Melanie Hope comes out on top of custody battle against Martel Hope. Well, it has a question mark, but I'm gonna read the article anyway. So here it is. Melody Hope and Martel Hope have been tied up in a custody battle. Love and Marriage Huntsville stars Melody Hope and Martel Hope have been in the headlines quite a bit for the last several weeks, despite the show's hiatus. Martel decided to sue Melody for full custody of their children and the legal battle kept her from legally changing her name. As for Martel, he told his supporters that he wasn't wrong to make the move. He even said they would support his choice once they were told the whole truth. However, he also expressed that he didn't like that Melody would ask other people to watch their children instead of just asking him first. He also took issue with Melody's brother watching their children. Some Love and Marriage Huntsville fans think this is due to homophobia. They have created a petition demanding he is fired from the show. Well, Martel and Melody were in court the other day, so a lot of people have been wondering if Martel was victorious. Prior to the custody drama, both Martel and Melody agreed to joint custody of their children. The former couple was even getting along better, and Melody invited Martel and his mother to the vacation she planned for their children, too. Although it hasn't yet been confirmed what took place in court yesterday, some are thinking Melody came out on top. Now, let me go back to the date of this article. This article was published three days ago, so it had to be the 24th. Tonight is the 27th, so it had to be the 24th, which was Wednesday. And, you know, that was this past Wednesday. Okay, the second to last, or the second page, the last page of this article. Let's get to it. Martel Hope came up short in court. Fans have been very vocal about Martel Hope and Melody Hope's custody battle. 
and fat some love and marriage Huntsville fans were outraged that Martell actually sued Melody for full custody of their children. They created a petition that demanded he is fired from the show and he was accused of being emotionally abusive and homophobic. Martell has been vocal about his issue with Melody's brother, Marcus Minifield, watching the host kids. Marcus is gay, and he's been with his husband for years. Mel Martell and Melody had to return to court this past Tuesday. And it was reported by various bloggers that a decision would most likely be made by a judge on that day. While neither Melody or Martel has given any direct updates about what happened, some people are paying close attention to their social media posts. And Melody's recent post have fans thinking that Martel lost his bid for full custody. After the appearance in court, Melody posted laughing emojis to her Facebook story. Well, if you go to this article, I'll put the website and the name of the article and where you can look this article at. It's showing Melody showing um, laughing emojis on her um, Facebook or Instagram post. I think it was her Facebook post. And then it says she also posted a selfie as well that made it appear as if she didn't have a stressful day at the courthouse. So that's also on her Facebook. If y'all look that up, that's Melody S. Holt. And that's the end of that article. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy me reading that article and I hope you like the article. I think... What it's trying to tell us is that it looked like she won the custody battle. You know, you can look, you can, like I said, look this article up and read it. But Martel, he ain't in a position to take care of them kids. He, he's living in his mama's house. You 40 years old and you living in your mama's house. You don't have a builder's license of your own. You using somebody else's license. You dumber than a fifth grader. You can't pass an open book test. That's why you got to have a tutor. Have, you know, a tutor help you study for the next time you take the test. It's like Martel, you need to get your business taken care of first. You need to get your own place. Because your mother told you on Love and Mary's Hutchfield that she's not going to raise your kids while you doing it, going out and trying to take care of business or whatever you're doing. So really, it would be her taking care of the kids instead of you. So what judge in their right mind would give you custody of those kids, boy? You act more like a boy than a man. It's like you a man child. You know why you out here call yourself hanging around and dating charade? You need to be focused on being a better, a better father and a, setting a better example for your kids. Stop going out with these women because, like I said, ain't no woman going to take care of you unless she's blind. You know, like I said, you need to get your own builder's license. You need to get that wine, your wine together, and you need to sell some books. You know, you, you need to stop being a narcissist and then own up to your part and admit that you was wrong for what, you, what happened in your marriage. You know, you, you sit up there and got involved with coleslaw, or should I say Ariane, and, you know, you lost focus on what you had at home. You should have stuck to what you had. See, after the first two times that 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 the the peasant that you called her didn't have your baby, you should have left her alone. That was your get out of um the fair free card. You could have went back home to your wife Melody, and y'all could have been married. But no, you had to go being a hunter that got captured by um Ariane's box. You had to go right back to her box and fill it up. You know, stuff it up with a gut full of nuts until you finally got her pregnant again and had that baby. See, you was a fool. You made a bad you made more than one bad decision. You made many, many bad choices. And that was the worst one. And that was the ultimate one. So like I said, you had chances to stop that affair with Ariya. You had chances to go back home to your wife and make things right. And you didn't do that. You got greedy. You got selfish. You put your own needs ahead of your own family 
your wife and your, your ass wife and your children. See, you fumbled that bag and you messed that up. So like I said, no, nah, ain't no judge going to give you no custody of the kids. Not when you don't have your own place. You can't even take care of yourself. Because if you could, you wouldn't be in your mama's house. Probably in your mama's basement. You probably don't even have a bedroom. The basement is probably your bedroom. You know, you should be a man and depend on yourself. Don't depend on your mama. Stop being a mama's boy. You, you just a scrub. You a bum. You know, you walking around here like you are that in the bag of chips. Instead, you some stale chips. That's what you are, some stale chips without the crunch. You know, you don't have no spunk, no nothing to you. You're arrogant. You, you just think that you, your looks alone is going to get you success. No. You got to put in hard work and you got to put in effort, sir. And you too lazy trying to use somebody else's builder license instead of going in there taking a test and passing it like you're supposed to. You failing it like you failing in life. You a joke, Martel. You are. You a joke. Just like that affair you had with Coleslaw because that didn't get you nowhere. You know what I'm saying? You downgraded when you went to her. She didn't have nothing to offer you but her box. Her immature box. That's what she had to offer. You was playing with kitty litter when you had a um when you had Hello Kitty waiting for you at home. And Hello Kitty is a name brand. That's a money making brand. You had a pretty thing. You had a wonderful wife at home. And you sit up there and gonna stoop down and get the kid playing the kitty's litter. Playing with litter. With no money. Girl didn't even have a college education. You know, you sit up there and downgrade and go for a girl. She she could have been a nurse, but for some reason she didn't go through with it. You know, at least if she would have been a nurse, at least we could have said she had a job. But you, who knows? You probably would have been living off her. If she would have if she was a nurse with good with, with good salary. You'd be living off the area. You'd be in her house if you couldn't be in your mama's house. But at least you'll be helping her take care of y'all son together. But still, she fumbled a potential bag by messing around with you. So it's like two dummies with, you know, y'all like, y'all really deserve each other. Y'all both are like two peas in a pot. Two dummies with no money. No class, no self-esteem, no nothing. And instead, I, Ariane, if I was Ariane, I'd take your butt to court and try to get child support from you. That's what i do. Because y'all really don't need to be together. She, she need to hit you up style and try to co-parent with you. And she need to love herself before she loves somebody else. That's, what, that's another thing she need to do. And you do too, Martel, because you don't love yourself. In order for you to fully love somebody else, you need to learn how to love yourself and co-parent with your ass wife and your uh, baby mama. The side dish. That's what you need to do. Co-parent with them. Before you be trying to get another woman, before you try to get try to sue to get custody of any child. Because you more of a child than anything else. You supposed to be the man in the situation and you not that. You the loser of the situation. But uh yeah, that's all I have to say. You know, I didn't rant I didn't went on and ran it enough. I didn't went on my rant. But anyway, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and you like if you want. But like I said, like, comment, subscribe. Please help me get those likes up. I'm feeling better. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thank you. Peace.